Hello students, in this video we'll see how to use estimates on call input options to estimate premiums. Suppose there are two put options, and we'll assume these put options are European. One with strike, fifty, and premium five, and another with strike seventy, and premium. Let's find a bound on the premium of a European put with strike 60. To solve this problem, we'll use the following property of put options. Put options are convex functions of their strike prices. What this means mathematically is that if I look at P K2 minus P K1 over K2 minus K1, this is less than or equal to P K3 minus P K2 over K3 minus K2, where K1 less than or equal to K2 less than or equal to K3. So what we can do is the following. I can choose in our problem, we can choose our K1 to be 50, our K3 will be 70, and the K2 will be 60. If I plug in these formulas, we see, well, I will have PK2, which is something we don't know, PK2 minus PK1, that's the premium on a put option with strike K1, which we know to be 5, over the differences in the strike price. The difference in, in 60 and 50 is 10, so I'll have a 60 minus 50, and that just gives me 10, is less than or equal to PK3, which we know to be the premium on a 70 strike put, which is 10, minus PK2, which we do not know, over 70 minus 60. And so now what we see is we see PK2 over 10 minus 1 half is less than or equal to, this will be 10 over 10, which is 1, minus PK2 over 10. So if I rearrange this, I will have 1 fifth PK2 is less than or equal to 1 half plus 1, which is 3 halves. And this implies that PK2 is less than or equal to 15 over 2, or 7.5. So we see that if the premium of a 50 strike put is 5, and the premium of a 70 strike put is 10, then the premium on a 60 strike put can be no more than 7.5, otherwise there'll be an example of an arbitrage situation which occurs. So we see that when we're trying to find estimates for put premiums, we can always use convexity to get an estimate if there are three distinct strike prices. Thank you very much.